The banjo can be played in a variety of ways. Musicians who play five string banjos, instruments with four long strings and one short thumb string, typically play by plucking the strings with their fingertips, striking the strings with the back of their fingernail with a fist-like motion, or using a mixed method of plucking and strumming. Musicians who play four string banjos, such as tenor and plectrum banjos, typically use a flat pick to pluck and strum the strings. To demonstrate some of these techniques, I have with me seven banjos from the Smithsonian's collection here at the National Museum of American History. In my journey with the banjo, I have enjoyed rich opportunities to explore how people have used the banjo over time and within our music communities today. I want to begin with the earliest, most detailed sources for how to play the banjo, which surfaced in the 1850s and 60s when the banjo was being commercialized through blackface minstrelsy. Basically, we have the commercialization of not only this African-American instrument, but also an African-American playing technique, a downstroke technique that includes a lead finger, in this case my index finger, striking down through the strings with the back of the fingernail and the thumb plucking the strings. Let me demonstrate on an appropriate banjo from the time period, a banjo that came out of the music shop of William Boucher Jr., a German immigrant who settled in Baltimore, Maryland in the mid 19th century. Boucher's instruments were part of the first generation of European Americans learning to play the banjo in the context of popular music and blackface performance. Here's a tune from one of those early banjo instruction books. <laughs> 